Well, hello there, everyday EDCers. This is Tyler with another knife review coming for you. Today, we have the Mini Bull Mastiff from Civivi. And if anybody can recognize that, that's my best impression of Slicey Dicey, who I've been watching since, well, not that long in the grand scheme of things, but since i become a knife guy. And pretty much been my inspiration that's opened the door for, uh, uh, I guess we'll start off with Metal Complex. Nick Shabazz took some getting used to and how we like him. But anyways, I digress. I will attempt to do some goofy stuff like that to entertain. Um, and it might not come off as entertaining, but it entertains me. So, if uh, they happen to ever see these videos, there's no disrespect intended. Full respect and uh, more of an homage to what, uh, what we got going on. Anyways, today we have the Mini Bull Mastiff. As you can see here, I actually haven't seen any reviews on this guy yet. Does not mean it's not out there. Probably just more guys like myself. But if you're like me and you kind of really like the cleaver style blade, you know, here you go. So we'll run through some specs on it real quick. We'll do some size comparisons. I got a, got a couple new things that uh, would be really good for you guys to kind of compare it to. Known knives. And um, just talk a little bit about it, you know, the good, the bad, the great, the ugly, and then sign off and say, have a good friggin' day. Let's get into it. So this knife's coming in at about 7 inches, plus or minus overall. The blade length is 3 inches with a cutting edge of about 2.8. The stock size on the back of this, the spine, as you can see here, I don't have calipers, but obviously stole these measurements from a couple different sites, made sure that they were all similar. Is coming in at 160 thousandths. This is a 9CR 18MOV. As I said in my previous one, probably due to Brian over there at Slicey Dicey, but I happen to like this better than the D2. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's just, it's unique, right? Um, let's get a little bit of a better look here. So as you can see, we got an ampidex ampidextrous uh, pocket clip. Obviously, as typical usual Civivi style, we have a flipper with a liner lock. It's not too much of a pocket pecker, and it uh, is extremely smooth. Um, this little guy is coming in, like I said, about seven inches long. Repeating ourselves here because we didn't really plan this out, but we don't really plan any of these out. So. This has a stonewash finish on the blade. I, I, for some reason, I'm liking the satin a little bit better than the stonewash, but I get it. It hides hides what it needs to. We get the G10 <clears throat> going on here. And there's our pocket clip. It's a deep carry pocket clip. Pretty good with a lanyard hole right there that's hidden. Doesn't really obstruct anything. Um, these are all, let's see here. These are all T8s, I believe. <clears throat> so it'll be a little bit easier to take apart the weight itself is coming in at a 3.5 ounces so you're not really getting that uh blade length to weight ratio there but you are dealing with a cleaver blade so what do you expect <clears throat> excuse me once again as with all the civivis you have this cool little civivi logo don't mind all the dog hair i have plenty of animals um so uh next we will do some size comparisons and if you'll follow along with me here we have the size comparison against the Rat 1 and the Rat 2. Nah, I'm just playing with you. All right. Coming on back here. So what we'll do is I'll grab the Civivi Elementum, which I did want to do a review on, and I will, but I wanted to get this Mini Bull Mastiff uh, review out there because nobody's really seen anything on it yet. So I do want to give you guys some information on it for those of you looking to buy it. Here is the Civivi Elementum. And another Civivi. We'll do a Civivi sandwich of the Backlash. Which, by the way, the Backlash is in my top two favorite knives right now that I currently own. So as you can see, it's a similar size to the Elementum. Obviously smaller than the Backlash, but that's what you're getting. Backlash coming in a little bit under 3.5, I believe. And again, sorry for the camera wobbling all around. I'm doing my best here until I get an actual setup. But I was hasty and could not help myself. 
So let's set up the Rat 2. And be, or I'm sorry, the Paramilitary 2. And the Tenacious. I don't have a pair of 3 because I don't have that kind of money to be buying these kind of knives over and over to, for comparison knives. But today's just coming in a little bit smaller than the Rat 2. Um, actually, the overall length looks the same. I should actually look that up. But that's a common blade that you guys can really compare it against. And I have two more. Speaking of the Rat 1 and the Rat 2, I have the Ontario Rat 1. And then we have a new little friend that we got in today, the Protec Newport. Again, I want to do reviews on all these other knives that I'm showing you, but wanted to really get the Bull Mastiff out there. So, through about, I would say, a week of using this guy, um, I can honestly say that if you're a cleaver-style blade guy, I mean, this this little thing is, is pretty freaking cool. You know, due to the heavy heavy blade, you have a pretty good drop shot going on there. Just a little bit of encouragement. Haven't done anything with uh, oil or anything to really lube that up. That's just the way it came. I can say that, obviously, let's do this. You know, they always talk about the different comparisons and the, and the carries and the carry height. If you look at your PM2, this thing's actually taller than the PM2 with the way that blade is shaped and angled right here. Which, you know, once again is fine. I mean, it's a tiny little knife, but if you're looking for something that is ridiculously slim in your pocket, and you're looking in the price range of the same thing, if you look here, we got our Elementum. Why don't I open that up just because it's fun? Our Elementum, way shorter in the pocket. The length is about the same if you're looking long ways, but height, I mean, you're looking way shorter. Much easier to carry. But you are getting a cleaver blade, so, you know, Right. I mean, that's what you get with the cleaver style blades. But if we look here, this is our new port. Once again, this thing is just tiny. I mean, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It's You don't even know it's there. So using this for a couple days, obviously we have almost a full flat grind. It starts at about, you know, nine tenths of the way up the blade all the way down. It's, it's fantastic. I mean, this thing, once again, as Civivi shows, it just comes in and it slices dang near everything um not as once again not as good as the Civivi elementum which is a hollow grind it's got a little bit of a slicier edge but that's not what you're looking for in a cleaver style blade when you're looking that way you're not looking for that hollow grind you want a little bit of uh solidity to what you do so let's go back and i keep jacking up my blade hq thing so obviously no jimping here it's straight we got this finger choil up here with the sharpening choil right here which is really nice the ergos on this guy i mean i can get i would say i have a medium a medium large hand long fingers you know regular style hand and and as you can see i mean it's 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 pretty darn good i mean this feels good in the hand i don't know when i would ever use a cleaver blade like this but i mean it just it does feel really good Let's see if we can straighten this out here so we're not looking at this crap. Doing it through the camera lens, which is difficult while trying to keep it steady. I apologize again. Not to be an advertisement. Just kind of the coolest background that I currently have. But this is uh, this blade's coming in at around $64. Um, whereas the Civivi Elementum's coming in at around a $50. Uh, I mean... I love this knife. I, I truly do. I do not see it being an everyday carry. I really don't. I don't see it something that I'm carrying all the time other than when you're kind of bored of the knife you want and you cycle it out for the next one for that day. Um, the Elementum definitely seems to be a go-to for a smaller, non-existent, you know, when you're wearing basketball shorts type of thing, run around the house or the Protec Newport. Um, you know, choose your flavor of choose your flavor of the day. But, I mean, it it's it's a fun little knife. Um, due to the fact that I apparently am collecting every Civivi that there is, this will stay in the collection until I can show off the whole collection, and maybe one day we will probably liquidate it. But, looking forward to its big brother, the regular size Bull Mastiff to come in, which is coming in at about 3.8 inches, so it'll be a much larger blade. Kind of cool to see those next to each other, and that's the goal, is to get those two next to each other and see those. Um, yeah. 
I mean, if it was up to me, I think the price is good. Um, but if you're really looking for something small and not so... Ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyways, uh, niche, I guess, with the cleaver-style blade. I, the one thing I didn't talk about, the way that they did this cleaver-style blade with this point at the end, obviously, you're not going to be able to see it too much with the camera because my phone isn't the greatest, but... That tip is really dainty, but what that does allow you to do is when you're going to cut something, it allows you to still have that puncture before you go down, which is actually kind of cool out of a cleaver blade. But going back to what I was saying, unless you're looking for something niche specifically with the cleaver style blade, I, I just don't know that this is the small size knife, or they're coming around three inches or less, that you really want. I mean, I, again, it's a Civivi. It's fantastic. I love this knife, but... There's smaller knives out there, or the same size knives out there, that don't dominate your pocket. They have a little bit better sliciness to them. Um, the ergos on it are, are, are typical of Civivi. They're, they're, they're great. Um, or we'll call them good, you know, after holding the Manix 2 all day. Oh, God, that's so fantastic. But, um, you know, so they're good. It's just, I don't know that I could recommend this for a smaller knife, for your everyday carry in the pocket, unless you are specifically looking for a cleaver style blade. You don't mind the blade height when it's in your pocket, then obviously this is the knife for you. I mean, if you don't mind those things and that's exactly what you're looking for, go for it. There's nothing bad about this knife. Obviously it's on uh, bearings, you know, it's super smooth. You know, it's damn near drop shutty because it's got the heavier style blade, even though it's tiny. You know, it's, 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 it really is awesome. It's fun to carry. You know, but if you're not like me and you're like a normal person to where you're actually just buying a knife to use it on an everyday basis, might not be the one for you. Well, this is all I got for you guys today. This is the Mini Bull Mastiff, and this is Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler, signing off. And again, thank you guys for those of you who watch. Stick it out for the 12 to 15 minutes that I try to keep these at. Try to be a relatively entertaining and form informative. Anyways. Um, try to be informative and, um, uh, just something to put on in the background while you're doing whatever you're doing while you're watching these knife videos. Uh, other than that, have a good one. Enjoy. Be safe. Don't cut your finger.